Some say museums are the new media companies because they focus on reaching a wider audience using digital platforms and giving visitors a more intimate virtual look at their collections. There are people who think this can never compare to the experience of visiting a museum in person, while others say it can actually encourage people to go. And those in-person visits are forever changing as well, as museums reinvent their traditional exhibition spaces and explore new ways of communicating with and engaging visitors. For more on this, I'm joined by Irma Kwabar. She's the digital platform supervisor at Pera Museum, which is now sharing their displayed art with people across the globe by utilizing internet search engine Google. Thank you so much for joining me today, Urmak. Hello. Now, in this year's Art Basel report, uh, it showed that the attendance uh, number of people going to exhibitions and galleries is dropping. Um, is it because everything is getting digitized? Well, museum attendance is an issue globally in every single museum around the world. Um, digital projects are made uh, to reach more people and uh, to let people talk about the museums more. So uh, when museums design projects digitally, they mostly think about uh, people who are not able to reach to museums physically mm -hmm. and let their collections be available more creatively. So I don't think that museums or galleries attendance is affected by the digital projects. Actually, I think that in the future, also right now, uh, using digital tools, digital platforms is um, really good for every single museum. In, Out there. Yeah. All right. So um, this project, as you said, is amazing in the sense where it could reach out to like hundreds and thousands of people uh, around the world and they can explore the artworks that are on display uh, on the website. But do you think uh, looking at art on a website is the same as going to a museum and looking at the artworks firsthand on the wall or say an installation? Of course, a, a real physical museum experience is so different than an online museum experience. It's much more richer to go to a museum. When you go to a museum physically, first of all, you learn a lot of things. And then you eat there, you, um, you shop there maybe, you spend a lot of time and then you share your memories with your friends. So you have a lot of things to talk about. Um, but also, as I said, there are people who are not able to reach to museums who are not able to be there physically. So is it more than looking at pictures on a website? When it comes to our uh, project, uh, we, we made this so that we can, um, so that our collections are available to as many people as possible. But of course, being at the, the museum is something else. It is a totally different experience. Um, so what are your thoughts on museums in the digital age? Do you think that more museums should do collaborations like this one? Um, yes, I do think that um, it is very important for every single institution to um, use digital tools as a strategy to reach people and to take feedbacks from people. And every single digital platform is, um, has another aspect that museums can use as a measurement uh, mm -hmm. tool. So it is very important to do different collaborations in different digital platforms and reach to as many people and uh, measure the outcome. Mm -hmm. Now, um, tell me about some of the works uh, from the Para Museum that are actually uh, on display on the website. Uh, on our Google Chrome extension, there are uh, nearly 80 uh, artworks from our from Sunay and Inan Kraj Foundation Para Museums uh, collections, which are Orientalist painting collection, Kutahya tiles and ceramics collection, uh, Anatolian weights and measures collection, and Istanbul uh, photos collection. So we recently also added uh, 20 engravings from our Orientalist painting collection, and the the oldest engraving dates back to 17th century, and it shows. Uh, it shows the map of old Istanbul. There are, there are scenes from Istanbul, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. there, um, there are 
milk jars and their mm, cups that from our collections, their measures. Yeah. So tell me how uh, Google was actually involved in putting this collection together on their website. Well, uh, Google has a platform on their application called Google Chrome. Mm -hmm. And on Google Chrome, you're able to write codes and make extensions so that when people download this extension to their Chrome application, uh, with, in our case, each time, they, uh, each time people open a tab, they see a, new, uh, they see a new artwork from our collection. And that's yeah. what we see uh, in the features video that uh, Paramuseum yeah. made. Yes, exactly. So if someone wants to have access to this collection, what would they have to do? They would need to download Google Chrome first, and then from Google Chrome, they go to the extensions section. They uh, download, they just search for Paramuseum, and mm -hmm. they find our extension, and they download it. That's it. All right, that's great. Now, Irmak, thank you so much for joining me today on Showcase. It was great having you, you on our show. Thank you very much.